Hi, I'm Adrian from the customer education team here at Hotjar. Today I'm going to introduce you to each of Hotjar's tools to help you better understand how to achieve your goals with Hotjar. Let's jump in. Installing the tracking code is essential for collecting user sessions and data for Hotjar's tools. We have help center guides to step you through installing the tracking code on your site, including guides for Shopify, Google Tag Manager, WordPress, and more. You'll find links below to Help Center articles for topics mentioned throughout this video. After installing the tracking code, you're ready to start finding insights. I'll use our demo site to show you Hotjar's tools and features. The demo site's been collecting data for a while, so let's take a look. Heat maps help you spot trends and user behavior by displaying heat data across pages on your site. Heat maps are great to use with landing pages or parts of your site with high traffic. Here I've generated a heat map for our demo site's contact page. More user activity results in hotter or redder clusters of heat, and less activity is shown as colder or blue clusters. I'll pin this heat map so I can easily come back to it in the future. There are three types of heat maps available. Click heat maps are great to see where users are and are not clicking. We also have move heat maps. Users often move their mouse to areas of a page where they're directing their attention. This makes move heat maps, which track a user's mouse movement, an excellent way to understand user attention on content heavy pages. Our scroll heat maps let you know how far down the page users scroll. This heat map can help uncover opportunities for moving more critical content that's getting missed higher up on the page. I can refine and analyze heat map data using session filters. For example, I'll change the date filter to the last three months. And I only want to see sessions from returning users. You can also filter heat maps by sessions where an event occurred on your site using our events feature. Or you can filter sessions by users who had a specific attribute when they visited your site with our user attributes feature. You'll find examples of attributes in our Help Center. The Recordings tool captures user sessions and lets you visually play back individual user interactions across your site. Here I'm watching a user session from our demo site. You can see session information, a listing of user actions, and when the actions occurred on the playback timeline. You can also choose to automatically skip inactive parts of a session and change the playback speed. From the asterisk shown, you'll see that we offer various levels of suppression to protect your visitors' personal identifiable information. Captured recordings will appear in your recordings playback list. You'll find table headings across the playback list for each piece of detail captured about each session. Alongside playing back recordings, extra data captured about the sessions enables you to organize your playback list and uncover opportunities. Here I want to know more about confused or frustrated users during our sign-up flow. I can apply session filters to help with this. First, I'll apply a date filter for the last 24 hours. Then I'll apply a rage click filter that can indicate user frustration. I'll apply a second filter to see sessions from users who visited the sign-up page. I can then sort the filtered playback list by duration. Sorting will focus my watching time on shorter sessions of frustrated users and help uncover any bugs on our site that are making users leave quickly. I'm happy with these filter settings and I'd like to revisit them in the future. With segments, I can do this. Sets of filters that you can quickly access again are called segments. Hotjar includes some predetermined segments and you can create your own segments to add to this list, as I'm doing now. Get even more refined by filtering recordings with facts about your users. With our user attributes feature, you could filter by users who signed up less than 30 days ago. Or using our events feature, you could filter recordings where an error message event has occurred, for example. Then you can watch these recordings to understand what's happened and make improvements. Surveys bring the voice of your users into your decision-making process. Surveys will help you validate plans 
learn the reasons behind changes in your metrics, and collect new ideas from your users. We also offer a range of survey templates to help you get your survey up and running quickly. Surveys come in two forms, on-site and off-site. On-site surveys can be popovers or full screen overlays on your site. These are great for getting a user's immediate response while interacting with your site, such as when they're in the purchase funnel or a sign up flow. This survey here triggers if a user visits our sign up page but looks like they're about to leave. In this scenario, I've created an abandonment survey to learn what could be causing some resistance to sign up or what we could do differently. Several preset trigger options can show a survey based on specific conditions. As with our feedback tool, you can also use our user attributes feature or events feature to trigger a survey. You can use our offsite or external link surveys to reach your users at any time. You might want to generate new ideas from customers or get feedback about their entire experience on your site following a purchase. The offsite survey is an excellent way of getting this feedback. We offer multiple question types like long text, short text, radio buttons, rating scales, and more. With survey logic, you can also optimize your survey for the respondent and allow different question paths based on responses. Many customization options exist for changing your survey's appearance and its targeting options. You'll find a complete list in our Help Center. Your survey's behavior can also be controlled with options for when to display a survey and how frequently to display it. On the responses page, you can quickly review, sort, or filter responses. You can also download responses in spreadsheet form. In the results tab, you'll find a visual representation of the data collected for each survey question. And on the performance tab, we have a breakdown of your survey's performance metrics, including for each question. Some great enhancements to combine with your responses include forwarding the responses via email or to Slack, you can also click through a recording to play back the session connected to the individual survey response. The dashboard provides a series of top-level charts about your site that can be filtered and tracked over time. In addition to monitoring trends across multiple metrics over time, you can also click through to the heat maps, recordings, feedback, and surveys behind the numbers. Here I'll check the top exit pages over the last seven days. We've got more than a few on the sign up page. Filtering by rage clicks, I'd like to see what's happening. Clicking through to recordings, I can see the filters are carried across from the dashboard and I'll watch one of the recordings. It looks like we've got a bug on the more details button and this is where our highlights feature comes in. You can take advantage of highlights to help with analysis and team collaboration. Across heat maps and recordings, highlights enable you to capture snippets of important moments and group them into collections to later analyze and share with your team. I'll do that now, pausing where I want to capture a highlight and adjusting the snippet length. I'll add a comment and I'll add it to the collection called bugs. I'll visit that collection later and share it with the team to prioritize a fix. I've mentioned how you can level up your analysis by incorporating user attributes and events into filtering and targeting. By sending data about your users from your site's database to Hotjar, these become available as attributes inside Hotjar's tools. We have a user attributes worksheet to help you decide what can work for you in our Hotjar learning course on user attributes. The same applies to implementing Hotjar's events feature. Actions occurring on your site that you send to Hotjar as events can be used to filter your data and trigger Hotjar's tools. See our events for recordings course on Hotjar Learning for more detail. Well, there you have it. That's our overview of Hotjar's tools and features. I hope you found this helpful for your start with Hotjar. 
If you need help during the installation or setup for any of our amazing tools, feel free to dive into our courses on Hotjar Learning and explore our help center. There you'll find videos, step-by-step -step how-to articles, use case guides, and frequently asked questions. Happy hot jarring!